Sacramento's downtown area is home to a wide range of businesses and attractions that draw visitors from near and far. However, there's still plenty of room for growth and development in the area, particularly when it comes to creating a welcoming and engaging space for dining, shopping, and community activities. That's where the proposal for the hospitality zone around Cesar Chavez Plaza Square comes in. Cesar Chavez Plaza is a public square located in downtown Sacramento, California. The plaza is named after Cesar Chavez, a prominent civil rights activist and labor leader who fought for the rights of farm workers, including many Latino immigrants. The plaza currently serves as a gathering place for various community events and festivals. However, there is an opportunity to transform the plaza into a destination for pride and culture for the Latino community, celebrating the heritage and contributions of Latino people of Sacramento and the broader community. A hospitality zone is a designated area within a city or town that focuses on providing visitors with an exceptional experience. This can include a range of amenities, such as dining options, shopping opportunities, and entertainment venues, all designed to attract tourists and encourage them to stay longer and spend more money. The goal of the hospitality zone is to create a vibrant and engaging atmosphere that draws people in and fosters a sense of community. To spearhead the effort, the Ernesto Delgado Hospitality Group will provide the vision and expertise in creating a diverse culinary scene that would be a draw for visitors. My dream, my goal, and my vision is to truly make Cesar Chavez Plaza a destination for, for, for all and to create a destination that represents the name of Cesar Chavez, which is pride and culture. And I just want to bring life to that. What could be a beautiful use that could combine with the plaza? You know, maybe it's a Latino museum. Maybe it's a lowrider commission museum, right? It connects to the Latino, the Mexicano side of Cesar Chavez Plaza Square. We can ask our community, what do they want it to be? It's not about what I want it to be, but what does our community need? How can our community thrive with everything around here? There's a gentleman across the street who's been here for almost, if not over 50 years. He repairs shoes. He is Chicano, he is Latino, he is Mexicano. You know, how do we support him? How do we embrace the fact that he's been here for so long, that he is part of this movement, he is part of the evolution, he is part of the future, he's part of our past, so he definitely needs to be part of the future. How do we do that? By creating Cesar Chavez Plaza Square, so every building around this plaza becomes part of the conversation to improve and create a destination for all. Cualquier cosa que eh, trates de motivar a la gente va a venir. So, si pones un anuncio, si pones luces, si pones música, la gente lo que va a hacer es que, oh, tal día ponen música, vamos a ir. Como los los viernes que hay música, los 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 jueves que hay un little market de de, de fruta, la gente viene por eso. So, incrementar eso otra vez, incrementarlo. Tratar de hacerlo igual. Hay que batallar un poco, pero en el futuro vas a ganar. This is Sacramento and this is all of our park, and so I'm really excited for what the future holds for all the plans that we have. With Dance on the Edge, our focus is family-friendly events, so that brings out a lot of people out there. We'd like to see more programming for dance events throughout the city just so that we could get more families out and engaging in the community. 20 years ago when I moved to Sacramento, this park was vibrant and we don't see that as much anymore. And I think Ernesto's doing a great job being a champion to bring this park back. As you look around, you see, you know, most of these doors are closed. Um, I'm really excited to see what we can do with opening those doors, filling these bi uh, buildings, and really just the future of the park as a whole. Creating a hospitality zone will require the involvement of a wide range of different stakeholders, including city officials, local businesses, government agencies, and community organizations. Mayor Daryl Steinberg has been a constant and much appreciated supporter. 
We invite him to continue to collaborate with us to share his valuable insight. I always love to talk about Ernesto Delgado of La Cosecha in the middle of Chavez Park, who has spearheaded an effort to enliven Cesar Chavez Park with more lighting, with more planters, more maintenance, and more programming. He's not a hand wringer. He keeps showing up and he believes. I know cleanliness and safety are top of mind for Ernesto and everyone downtown right now. I don't know about you, but I can already see a modest improvement in the blocks around City Hall. A beautiful plaza that I feel we don't take advantage of. We need to activate culturally. We need to make it what it is. We need to add to the name, call it Cesar Chavez Plaza Square. Why? Add square to the idea that we connect all the businesses, all the buildings around the plaza to the plaza. So anytime there's a conversation about the plaza, we take in mind all the businesses, all the buildings, everything within the plaza. Creating a hospitality zone around Cesar Chavez Plaza has the potential to transform downtown Sacramento into a vibrant and engaging destination for visitors and locals alike. By bringing together a range of different stakeholders and resources, we can create a space that celebrates the cultural heritage of the area, supports local businesses, and fosters a sense of community. With the right planning and execution, the hospitality zone could become a key driver of economic growth and community development in the area. With your support and contributions, we can successfully bring this vision to life.